Sports at Toronto League Season 13 Final. I'm Aaron P. and I'm here with Christian. And today we are bringing you the finalists Jeff Siri versus Aaron Dater. Um, and we are, as of today, being issued new points. But these point, these ships are in the old point universe. Um, so this is the last time these guys are going to be able to play these lists. Um, and after this, they will be illegal. On the left, we've got Aaron Dater with four Warden Squadron pilots. Each Warden has barrage rockets and proton bombs. And one of them, uh, number one, that's the one in black, uh, is carrying Sabine as well. And what's Jeff got, Christian? Jeff is running a Vader Whisper vendor list. That vendor is the Hatchet Man build that's been gaining popularity recently. And Vinder's running with Trick Shot, Fire Control System, both Proton and Advanced Proton Torpedoes, Nasty. Advanced Slam, and, well, the Arsenal Loadout. Uh, Whisper is just running with Juke, and Vader is taking his full complement of Hate, Fire Control System, and Afterburners. So, that Whisper is the cheapest thing in Jeff's list. And here we see him deciding not to engage with Major Vinder. He's just going to slam the heck out and not even bother engaging there. Um, now looking at this, what do you think is the ship that Jeff cannot lose? I think he's just got to be careful that he doesn't get a bad engagement um, and mm. end up stuck with these K-Wings, right? Because yeah. it's easy to get trapped, and the next thing you know, you're eating all these bombs, and Sabine's throwing you under rocks and everything like that. So right. I think for Jeff, he's got to... He's got to try to pick one of these things off and try to kill it fast nice. uh, and not get into a position where uh, uh, Aaron can sort of Zamboni across the map, right? max out his barrage rockets. One thing I noticed with Aaron, if you look at the, the way his, uh, uh, those bow ties are facing on those K-Wings. Yep, it's and slick. Yeah, he's got some of them sideways, but he's still got a few of them pointing forward. One of them's pointing forward, right? And Number three, yep. Yeah, because he tends to catch people that think they can slip into range one, and mm. then they're not in his sides. They're not eating barrage rockets. Yeah. And he's got a good, it looks like he's got a pretty good open space on that bottom of the board to start approaching, right? He can uh, sort of turn towards the middle of the map and start sort of flying north. Yep. Well, I think what he's done here with his Sabine Mobile, which is number one in the black, is set her up as bait. Look, it's Sabine. She's all by herself. Come through these rocks fast and try to get her. While these uh, other three, as you say, Zamboni across the board and just start punching with barrage rockets. I think that's his plan there. Now, I think Jeff, if he's smart, and he usually plays really smart with these guys these days, uh, he will just take the whole bunch of ships and yank them back up towards the top right board edge. Just not engage. Just make those 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 um, wardens commit. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad a, a bad play for for Jeff. I mean, he's got to be careful. Um, the other thing though with these K wings is they can be in your face real fast before you even expect them to be there. Right? True. They three straight three bank slam and you know here yeah. they are. But they can't shoot them. Yeah, and if he's trying to get cute with, with uh, Hatchet Man and circling rocks and stuff, I mean, mm -hmm. he doesn't want to get a ship caught getting shot three or four times, right? No. I mean, Vader and Vinder can handle uh, a barrage or two uh, and come out of it, but not so much Whisper. I mean, Whisper has the tokens to spend, but then she loses her action economy and she's dead in the water and she'll start eating bombs. Okay, so he does pull Whisper out of the way. And so we'll oh. see how aggressive he comes in here. Right, he's Zambonying. Uh, Aaron's committing more than I thought he would. Number three and number four are lined up to come across the board. And number two is not in such a fantastic position. But... He can two-turn to cover the open space that's uh, range two to three in front of Whisper. And Sabine just comes in. Well, he's covering that whole half of the table with his arcs now. Yep. I mean, Vinder can circle the board for a long time, but when she commits, she commits. The battle of the, the slamming ships. 
Ooh. It's more aggro than I thought Whisper would bring. So I think if there's one ship that is disposable in Jeff's list, or the most disposable ship, let's say, it's Whisper. It is as cheap as ship. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I said that at the beginning. He has to be careful that um, he doesn't end up uh, with all these things able to basically move past him. He doesn't want to end up in this bomb apocalypse. Yeah. Right? And, and it's that's not all that easy to do. I mean, at least Whisper has the maneuverability that she can sort of dance around a little bit, right? It's Vader yeah. that has to be really careful. Yeah, and Whisper can decloak after bombs are laid down yes. in the system phase. So it allows them some sort of reactiveness. Because it looks the way that Aaron has a set up right now, and he's just perfectly set up to one forward, mm -hmm. and he'll close off that whole part of the map. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, Whisper will probably decloak down and maybe bank in or turn in, but, I mean, she could easily get caught as well. Yep. And, and same deal with Vader. If Aaron had gone in more aggressive last turn, mm -hmm. then he'd be in a really good position this turn. Yep. They would have probably exchanged some fire. He wouldn't have been able to shoot back, but um, uh, maybe he's still not too bad. They don't. Uh, Whisper doesn't have a whole lot of options here. I think she decloaks left and then does uh, a one bank, maybe. I don't. I don't think Whisper has. Like, if Whisper decloaks forward, mm -hmm. you know, those K wings are still too far away. He couldn't sort of hook into that. Sabine K-Wing and yeah. try to dodge the other ones. He'd be getting shot either way because they've got those side arcs, right? Yeah. If he goes as far back as he can on a right decloak, he might be able to one bank. But, as you say, well, one straights from three and four um, mm. means he's just going to eat a bunch of barrage rockets anyway. I think going down the board is probably his best bet because it's unlikely that, that K-Wing number two, if he decloaks down and does a shallow bank in or something... Mm -hmm that he's going to be getting shot by that K-Wing number two. Yep. Um, yeah, because to keep close. his focus, it can't bump three. you got to watch out for the bullseye arcs on those K-Wings as well with the barrage rockets. Oh, yeah. Cause and then you're taking all the re-rolls and everything else. Yeah. And then there, then you've got like nine hits you're looking at, which will destroy a ship, especially one if he gets unlucky with the greens. All right, so we got the suspense here of how aggressive... Mm -hmm. Aaron's going to be. This is the round you can second guess yourself into doom. Yep. Oh, here comes the decloak. There we go. So he's going with the safest of all possibilities. Well, let's see if Aaron lunged with the three Ks. Nope. Looks like Aaron is happy to shoot at Whisper. Mm hmm. So it'll be interesting to see if number three is going to be the best target for Jeff mm -hmm. or if it's going to be the Sabine, the number one coming up from the rear. And he's I, just going one straight there. Yeah, yeah that's not surprising. Yeah. So you know what? He, he's not in a bad position. A one bank from Whisper here. I don't think she's eating more than one shot. Yeah. You think that's out of range of four? It's it's hard to tell at what sure. the camera angle, but. Ooh, it's just a two. So, mm. oh, well, yeah, the camera angle makes it difficult to tell. It's tempting to slam, but you don't want Vinder to be stressed. And she will still be in number two's arc. Nope, he's just going straight for the lock. Does he have it? Yes, he does. He could be getting shot here, but he's got the Not rock safe. from number one and uh, range three, so he doesn't need to, uh, to slam to get any dice. Ooh, that's going to be close. It is. Now, he could barrel roll back, but Whisper really wants to be able to mod her shots. No, he's just going to focus. So... Whisper may well be in range of uh, K-Wing 2. And yeah, you know what? Let's just do this. Yeah. Let's just joust these K-Wings. <laughs> yep. Get hot dice and win. Yeah, good strategy. So That's not bad. He's got, got his lock. Yep. yep. So Jeff is indicating to us what he's done. He's spent a force for focus. Oh. Because I guess he had a chance with Vendor to slam to Torpedo 3, right? So yep. they'd have all three ships shooting the same K-Wing. Yeah, but then he would have been stressed up there in the middle. That's true. Yeah, and, that, and you, gotta, you don't bad. have a whole lot of places to Oh, he has trick shot. He, he likes right. the obstructed shot just fine. So Jeff rolls in a way that he doesn't want to see it. Uh, and he Oh, he's forgotten to turn that into a crit. I can't tell. I think it is a crit already. All right. So he's going to spend a force. 
and it's three. Oh, I suppose he doesn't care if it's a crit. Uh, K Wing has three shields. Let's see how Aaron's dice treat him. He's uh, looks like one eyeball, and I can't see what the other thing is. He spends it, and for two, so just one damage into number three. Now number three spent his his focus token. Yep. So no barrage rocket coming back. Vader's fine with that. Whisper into three. Range three. Now, if you're a new player, that was an opportunity that Jeff had to check ranges to the other two guys so we knew exact so we would know exactly what's coming back. He doesn't mod anything, so Juke gets through, Jeff takes his additional evade token, and there's Whisper with all the tokens. And his shield's down on K Wing three. I think this has gone pretty well so far for, for Jeff. No great disasters have happened, and Jeff has trick shot as well, so this obstructed shot actually is something he's pretty happy about. I forgot about that. He rolls five dice. Can't really see that from here. So it's not great, and he has to spend the walk to reroll four. Oh, yuck. Then he gets. Ugh. He gets two hits and a crit. Or no, just a hit and a crit. Just a hit and a crit. Oh, oh ouch. Man. Well, that's the thing with Vinder, right? I mean, sometimes he's magical, and, you know, he's he's largely at the mercy of the dice. Yep. That's one of the few times where he actually gets a chance to spend his lock, and he's not relying on FCS. or. <laughs> so the Sabine uh, K-Wing just rolls hit crit to the rock, Vinder. but Vinder don't care. And we've got... Do we have range from Whisper to number two? Oh, I think uh, number two did not have range on Whisper. So we go straight to number four. And Barrage Rockets and Hot Fire for three. Whisper will take at least one here. Mm -hmm. Spends two thingies, takes one. So it looks like number three is going to throw primary dice because his arc is facing forward. One hit somebody and something is evaded I mean I think the the obvious play for Whisper and I'm sure Aaron's thinking about this is just to keep decloaking towards the bottom of the map yeah and keep turning in yeah but Aaron's actually in a good position to just turn into him mm -hmm. and catch him there like I was mentioning at the beginning of the game they're getting very close to the situation where the bombs are going to start to come into play yep and you want to do whatever you can to try to screw that up and get yes. past it, right? So I'm always looking at Whisper and Vader and thinking, how can I, like, break this engagement and start something new? And knowing that, he like, and so I think maybe the best way to do that is to pick some sort of funky decloak with Whisper that um, Aaron was totally not expecting. Decloaking forward and going four straight. Yeah, Because, you know, he's not going to drop a bomb now. And so that might get you out. And then next turn, um, how about a decloak forward and a three bank? Thing is, he's they're still dangerous because they've got like these. I don't even know what that angle is. It's not quite three sixty, but it's pretty close, right. right? I mean, you could still be getting shot by these guys. Well, if whispers at range one of one of the ones which has its arcs pointed sideways, yes, you're not then getting you barrage rocket. Absolutely, rocketed, which is a huge thing when you're fighting them. You're like, and I'll park right here. Yeah, and I think it's, just by looking at this, I mean, I don't see Aaron going over that debris. I think he'd need to do at least a two bank to the left with number four to clear that debris. Yeah. Um, maybe a one would fit, but I have a feeling it was like, like if you look where he is, it looks like it might just clip yeah. the side, which might not be a big deal. I mean, I mean, he, he eat a stress for a turn, whatever. Yeah. I mean, if he's going to eat his stress, he wants to be in a place where he can clear it pretty easily and do something useful in the subsequent turn. Because my worry for Jeff is he's going to do something with Whisper here. Either he's going to go totally aggro and like smash his way into the, the formation, or he's going to decloak left and try to get out. But Vader is still directly facing this formation, and that's not where he wants to be. He could escape this turn, Vader. He's got the option to three hard out, and he's basically gone. Yeah. Um, Aaron would have to call that. that that's it's thing. it's hard to make a call like that, right? Because it's oh, like, absolutely. oh, Vader's going to run, so I'll just turn my flank to everybody else. I think the expected thing is for Vader to um, just do one straight or one, one, one forward to victory. Yeah. 
And Misper is doing the safety move again. All right. So yeah, he went after Whisper. Yeah. Now, does he slam for a block? It's tempting, but is it useful? I don't know that. The only other K-Wings he'd get maybe good shots with on Whisper, provided he blocked, mm -hmm. is one and two, right? Because yep. four is just, uh, it's going to have to turn or something. It can't go straight or it's going to hit that debris. I think Aaron is thinking about rotating his arc on number three here because... He could have a nice range one shot at Vader. I mean, unless he puts his guns there. Because where he is right now, basically, let's say that Whisper does do the one bank. He can just barrel roll out of his arcs completely. Yep. Whereas if he rotates arc, it's unlikely Vader is, you know, if Vader does anything slow, he's going to be in that side arc. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I see the dilemma you're talking about. No, he's slamming. He's slamming. So that's real interesting. He's going for a block on Vader. So, I think that's a smart play by Aaron there. I mean, he just avoided the whole, yep. you know, getting getting creamed by all three of those ships. It's very unlikely that Vinder, if Vinder does a straight, she can't yeah, shoot. Yeah, she's not going to be able to get him. Or she could with a slam, actually. But we'll see what happens. All right, so this is kill the Lord of the Sith time. Yeah, number four is in a great spot with that two bank. Mm-hmm. Two with the one straight and a focus. There we go. A little kill box for Vader. And now we get to see what Jeff has done. What? Yeah, he's doing the snake move, but that puts him real close to that rock. It does, and it gives him stress. Like, he's going through that rock next turn. He's going to hit that rock now. But he really wants to shoot Sabine in the butt with the advanced proton torpedo. One bank. One bank. So that slam by Aaron was inspired. Yes. Three is out of danger. Absolutely. Whisper might have to barrel roll here. Yeah, maybe. How much would that help him? If uh, Whisper is not in number two's arc, then I think it's better to He focus. is going to do the barrel roll. <laughs> Oh, Ooh. Vader is sneaky. Beautiful. So now, the barrage rockets on number four are meaningless to Vader. The barrage rockets on number two might be, if that's range one between them. And Vader is only taking Sabine's rockets. Yeah, I mean, if it's almost... A, I almost think Vader should uh, barrel roll back into the to arc and range to the right, one to yeah. ship right yep i totally think of you're all right. of them totally. right let's see if he sees it let's see if he sees it he's gonna do some actions can't see what that was that he laid down he's got a target lock on that oh boy good does looking. jeff see it does jeff ptl see target it? locks no he did no, not he see did it not see it uh oh vader rolls better this time he's going to uh, yeah oh uh, okay Spending a force, so he's got three and a crit on number four, who is undamaged. And Aaron rolls his evade die. Shields down on number four. Range two of number four. If you were Aaron, who would you shoot here? Um, I think I would plow into Vader. Plow into Vader? Yeah. I'm not sure if number two has arc on Whisper, and so that's the question. If he... D no, he doesn't have arc on Whisper. Never mind. So, yeah, just shoot Vader. If you've got two barrage rockets on Vader, do it. So Whisper is two on number four, including a crit. Uh, Aaron can spend the focus to avoid taking both, but he's just going to take the damage, I think. Yeah. So that went, went pretty well for, for, for Aaron. Damage sensor array. Mm -hmm. well, that's not so bad, really. Uh, number four can't slam, but can still focus. And we have an advanced proton torpedo shot, and they're trying to decide if it's obstructed. If it is obstructed... It'll be a six dice proton it's torpedo. Six <laughs> dice. Hatchet yeah. man. So that vendor build went up a little bit, I guess, with the point change that happened today, right? Yeah, it will. Where is he sitting now? Is he 64 like this? Well, if you do it with trick shot, which <clears throat> you, know, you, don't, you don't have to, you, don't you don't can have do to. crack shot, um, then that will be. It's five, five points, right? Yeah, Two for trick shot, like one for proton. 
and two on Fender himself. Yep. So he's 69 after the change. Yep. Obstructed is called. No, he can't spend the lock because he's slammed, right? That is correct. He cannot. Um, so he gets a mere three. Oh, no, it looks like four. Three? Uh, I don't know what's happening. There we go. Oh, he's got FCS, so he's rolling one. Nice. Oh, not so, bad. <clears throat> two two crits, two hits. Yeah, and that's on the Sabine machine. <clears throat> Who gets two dice? I see one blank. Shields down and a crit's coming in. Ooh, Console fire, blanks. okay. Console fire. That's going to hurt long term. So some appreciable pain was put into Aaron's list that round. We've got three guys down to shieldlessness. Mm -hmm. Two guys with crits, which are inconveniencing. Um, I don't know what he was doing there. He definitely doesn't have bullseye. Is he range two to Vader or range one? But, I mean, it's it's going to be the the next system phase. That's going to be Aaron's turn, right? Because all those K-Wings are going to be dropping bombs. And, and Vader is in a terrible bad position for being bombed. Oh, and Vinder, too. Vinder can't slam because she has to hit that rock. Looks like range two between yeah. number two and Whisper. Oh, did number two spend its... No, I don't think he spent any of his tokens. Because number two wasn't being shot at, so no. Why? And we have a barrage rocket salvo into Vader. No bullseye, so he's just going to get what he rolls. He's taking three hits, though. Is that, is oh, that Vader hot or, fire. Or, uh, it must be three since he's considering yeah. it. Um, he does have hate, so he could take one and and get a force back, which is what he's going to do. So one shield on Vader. Hate triggers. And Vader comes back up. Nope. Takes the damage from the console. Ouch. So the Sabine machine is down to four hull. Or do I have that wrong? No, nope, that's right. This is a primary for Ooh. somebody. Oh, no. That's, uh, there we go. All hits. Vader takes one more. I mean, that was Vader being shot at, and gets a force. So Vader is now at two force. And then we have, well, it looks like <clears throat> without the barrel roll, Vader is still in that side arc, number mm -hmm. four. And number four is going to roll only one hit. So Vader probably just dodged that. Yep. So Vader lost shields in exchange Shields for down. Well, that's bad, because now how many proton bombs is he going to have to navigate now? Number three is dropping one. Number four is <laughs> dropping one. Yep. I'd even drop one from number two, and because why not? Number one is dropping one for sure. So this I mean, could be a potentially extremely I'm, ugly system phase for, I'm, for Jeff here. I'm, I'm, uh, this was Aaron. always the risk coming in, yeah. right? That I think if I'm Aaron, I just drop every proton bomb. Yeah. Why would you? Yeah, because, I mean... Vader might have an escape vector with like a three bank mm -hmm. um, afterburners, afterburner, or three hard barrel roll afterburner. You got to do afterburners first before. Ah, uh, yes, but yeah, I hear what you're saying. Um, can Vader escape to the bottom of the map, like towards Whisper? Maybe Whisper might be the only one who's okay here. Whisper's. Yeah, whispers. The whole thing is maybe Jeff forgot that Aaron has bombs, so we're gonna find out. Yeah, we will. Because yeah. <laughs> I've done he's that before do more too. Than that. He's gonna remember that he has bombs. Oh yeah, bombs tractor beam him and ionize him. Oh, I thought it was just a bunch of barrage rockets. They all have yeah. proton bombs too. Yeah, well, that's yeah. uh, that's unfortunate. So maybe Jeff will forget, but we'll see. Yeah, fighting I'm sure this Aaron, list. Aaron will remind him. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, fighting this list tends to be an exercise in like attention span, because if you forget stuff, you're hosed. Now, if I were Jeff, I might just three-turn ship right. Hold on. Ship left, I mean. I mean ship left. With Vader? Yep. So that'd be going down towards Whisper? Yep. Just get yeah. the heck out. Yeah. I mean, you don't have any... You don't want to boost. You don't want to go any other direction here. You, a two... Oh, yeah. You want to go at least three, because then you can after burner. But, I, you know, a two bank might actually get him out. Well, as you say. If he's clear. We'll see. If Jeff remembers the threat of the bombs everywhere. Yeah. Now, Vinder really just has to three turn away from the whole scene. Because. I don't think Vinder can escape a bomb from where he is now. Uh, I think the three turn will. You're right. You're right. It'll still get. And it's going to catch him. But, but at least he won't whatever. be thrown back on a rock or something. Exactly. Maybe he'll get ionized or something. And they're not in a good position to turn back on Vinder. So if he yep. gets ioned or something. But I'm sure he's saving ions for Vader. 
I mean, you don't want a three straight with Vinder because, like, then you might just eat you one might, from you, two. You, as you well. might eat one from number two as well. That's right. Well, and the other silly thing is they can th- they can throw you into another proton bomb. So if yes. you get caught by one, you could end up getting caught by three yes. of them. And Vader's got no shields. And I mean, that's yeah. a, that's why Vader just absolutely has to get out. Yeah. This is Aaron's round. All right, okay. So here bombs. comes bomb number one. Yep. So this is bomb obvious bomb number one. Yeah, we'll see if you're right. Let's see if he does end up dropping with everyone. Oh, I now take it back. I think he shouldn't drop with three. Yeah, because four is really got... You think four could do a hard two and get past Vader? Uh, I was looking at it. Yeah, you know what? I think he maybe. could. And I think that might actually be a good move. Okay, so Whisper decloaks the obvious McObvious way. And we'll see one turn and shoot somebody as they fly past. So two turn. Good move. I mean... If Jeff does something dumb with Vinder here, uh, Aaron can you know put a whole bunch of damage into her with a barrage rocket there. That's why I think that was a good call. Yeah. Just because uh, you know Jeff may be worrying so much about Vader, he may not be paying full attention to what what could happen to. to and number Vader. three is free to focus. Number three is not messed up. It's not yep. sick. Number three is a healthy guy now. Just shields down. Now the trouble with the two turn with number four is if it doesn't clear Vader then everybody's in trouble. That's true. I think it will, and I think it's the call. But he might have gone with the three bank, just to be sure. Which I think is also decent, though not as good. Three bank oh, it is. Oh, we just do the three bank. Will Jeff call the move? Yeah, again? I think you're right about not dropping a, a proton with number three. Yeah. It doesn't look like there's going to be anybody there. Um, whether he should have dropped one with two or not, because it looks like Vader's got an avenue of escape here. You're right. With a three a th- turn, three hard boost barrel roll, something like that. Perhaps. I mean, we may see number two who's still at full health. Just do one bank here, slam into Vader, and prevent any right yeah. turns, or at least the two turn, right? No, oh. he was trying to rotate Ark and uh, okay, Jeff. Oh, interesting. Two turn. Does that clear? Perhaps. Yeah, it looks like it does. Nice. Well, number two can go ahead and take that proton bomb. But I still think he should have dropped the other proton bomb. But then maybe Sabine would have taken another damage. Anyway, enough judginess from me. Oh, no, wait. That's what I'm here to do. Yeah, it's a hard call. It is. I mean, we're going to really see. It's a difficult round. Like, it's it's so difficult to figure out what you're going to do if you're Jeff here. I mean, it's hard enough being Aaron, but, like, being Jeff. I haven't seen I haven't seen Jeff's, Jeff do any moves yet. So yeah. I still haven't figured out if Jeff forgot he had bombs or not. I don't think so. Not with the planning phase that was that, that long. That long. Oh, we slant. That's we slant. interesting. Interesting. So far, only one K-Wing that can actually shoot at Vader if Vader does a one straight. Yeah, and I don't think that K-Wing's actually moved yet. The Vader does the a Sabine, The Sabine K-Wing has not moved. If Vader does a one straight, he may just be able to barrel roll the heck out of the range of that bomb. And Sabine doing a one straight. Yeah. Oh, no. One bank. All right, so it was cut off all avenues of escape. So that's pretty good. He's cut off the three turn, which I talked about, to the, mm-hmm. uh, to the left. Which is a very good call, I think. And he's cut off what looks like... looks like he's cut off the three turn to the right, which is very nice as well. Now he... he oh, he's going to take a bomb from... Sabine will take a bomb here if she stays where she is. I don't... Th- she can't escape that proton bomb. She's going to take it You're no right. matter what. Uh, what about it? With a one bank, she can slam and that's yeah. it, right? And she doesn't want to move because she wants to block Vader in case he went yeah. right. If he went right and he gets he out. He took a focus, kept the. Yeah. Oh, Vinder. Vinder, do. Vinder does do the he three. He did the three hard out. Yeah. Now, Aaron will probably throw an eye on onto Vinder here. Just, you know, make it turns before Vinder can come back. That's what I would do. Yeah, he, yeah, he did shield. take it. I don't know if a tractor beam would get Vinder onto that rock. Well, uh, it's hard to see. I think he's far he enough away from it. Oh, oh, he knew that oh. was coming. Oh, he forgot about the bombs. I don't. I think he just screwed up the the planning because mm. I don't think he meant to land on that debris. Maybe. I mean, maybe he gets lucky here and draws off both of the nasty conditions onto Whisper and and no damage from the astro uh, from the Debris. And now, this is the moment of truth. What did we do? He did three turn away. Oh, so he got caught. 
it might still get him in range of that bomb. That's going to be close. And he's going to get barrage rockets. going to be real close. He's going to get barrage rockets in the butt. Oh, I think that's in, in. I think that's in. Oh, it's going to hurt. It is. Now, number four didn't slam, so number four does have arc back on Vader. I think you just eye on Vader here. No? Oh, that's a good call. Yep, you're right. Yeah. If he doesn't just die. Well, he has to make that choice first. So there'll be a one proton bomb detonating uh, on Vader. Mm -hmm. And then after that bomb goes off, he has to make the decision as to where the uh, to where the token goes. Actually, could we see the Sabine crew card, Victor? Thank you. Can you hear me? Yep. So he's starting with Vader. Vader is going to get the ion. He was in no doubt about it. He gets damaged engine. Oh, That's you could brutal. jam the thing off Whisper so you can't cloak. Yep. Oh. Yep, so the jam becomes uh. pretty powerful here. Or he could double stress Whisper. Yep. Yep. You're right. He went with the jam. I think Whisper can still land a hit and get a free evade. Damaged engine onto K Wingning. Yep. Oh, damaged engine onto the. Yep. Stress. Oh, yeah. God. What did Vinter get? I think he's considering giving him a stress. Yeah, why not? That would be the last of the Sabine, right? No, this, uh, one more. We didn't see a tractor. Well, Vader and Whisper are going to eat another Proton next turn. Like, yep. no questions, right? Unless he... Well, if Whisper can get an evade, she can get out of there. Because yeah, she, she can shoot. Hits, right, right. She absolutely. Hits. Then she gets the free evade, and then she can <clears throat> do a decloak, although it looks like only to the right. Maybe she could do the left. Okay, so the only shot we have for Jeff is Whisper into number two, and he gets two hits, so he's definitely connecting. And Jeff rolls a lucky, or Aaron rolls a lucky evade. So at least Whisper has her evade. Well, he needed that. He really he needed that, he that evade token. Well... I think that was a really good call by Jeff. Just he got outplayed there by Aaron. The three turn with, with Vader. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, this, the, that getting blocked was just brutal. And we have one damage being evaded. What looks like number four. So now it's just the barrage rocket from um, the Sabine Mobile. Right, he's still making a decision on who he's going to shoot here. He's going to shoot Whisper. Looks like he's going to Whisper. I mean, Vader may Here well comes die. Console Fire. Oh, does Console Fire go off on a crit? Can't remember. I don't think so. I think it's only hits. I think you might be right, but I can't be sure. It might be confusing additions. Uh, so, I'm just going to spend the extra charge to reroll a die. He's shooting Whisper. Yep. I think the thing here is to try to strip the evade token. So, it's two hits and a crit. Is it? Oh. oh, that is unfortunate. She has to spend the evade to live. Takes hit crit. Might not live anyway. Let's see what we got here. Hit, yes. And the crit is fuel really leak. Yeah. Hilarious. Well, that's bad if you get a proton bomb again. Now well, you can't decloak. on one hill. One hill, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, okay. Well, that was... That was disgusting. Yeah this uh, great list, which is now illegal. In case you were wondering why those points went up, <laughs> now you, now we know. <laughs> yep. So Whisper has to go through the debris. We'll die to a proton bomb. Number two, we'll just drop a proton bomb and end Whisper and probably Vader as well. So it's all on Vinger now. <sighs> yeah, that's a lot of work for Hatchet Man. Mm -hmm. This round. Is there any way for Vader? No, he's dead, no matter what he does, right? Well, he's got two hull. He's got two hull, so he'll take one from the proton bomb, <clears throat> and one of these K-Wings will shoot him with something else, um, and it may well kill him, or he could get really lucky dice and somehow live. I wonder, number two could probably just one bank and rotate arc to the back? Yep. Yeah, I think that would be a good call. Now, Whisper can actually, like, four straight or three bank here. And number three is just going to run after Vinder and 
spank her with barrage rockets. Yeah. It's going to take Bender a while to shed all that stress. I mean, there's a two bag that's blue on that thing. Oh, no. He's actually committing number three to uh, have a shot on some of these guys. On the bank. Probably rotate to the rear. Oh, there was no bomb from number four. I haven't kept track. A couple of these guys might be out of bombs. I don't think number four is out of bombs. I think he's only, this is only the third bomb he's dropped. I mean, there was only two bombs that went off last oh, turn. Yeah, he caused right, all that right. damage with two bombs. Thanks, Sabine. <laughs> sure, it's fine. There's going to be two turns. It turned out. Away. That's a good move. I think so. I mean, I'm beginning mm. to worry that Vader may just escape all damage here. I mean, apart from the proton bomb. So. Is Sabine going to eat another proton bomb there? Uh, mm, tough to say. That looks pretty damn close. So we've got Vinder escaping. Down to one stress. One proton torpedo, one stress. So next turn, she can actually do her thing. Two bank, two turn, and fire a proton. Maybe that's why Sabine went where she went. Oh, you know what? Aaron still has the tractor beam token on Sabine. Yes. So if Vader... Yes. Eats that. He could just uh, push them even closer to the board edge. Brutal. Vader's got oh. turn. Whisper just took. What just crit. happened there? Did he just she take a. Are you kidding she me? She just killed herself on that. Um, she just took the console fire and died. Yeah, you're right. Tractor beam and then barrel roll him left. No, I. No, you just tractor beam him straight forward toward the oh, board right, edge. I think that fits, right? Yep. Yeah, you're right. So and then it doesn't matter what happens to him. That's yeah. why Aaron doesn't care, because he's, he's got the tractor beam. So it is Vinder versus the world. Oh, you got tractor yep. beam. Yep. Vader takes a fuel leak. Oh, what are you doing? Well, he's, doing maybe, what I said. he's got a better view of it <laughs> than I do, so maybe he can uh, maybe he can't see. If he leaves it there, the two turn might actually make it. I think it does clear two turn there. He's thinking about the shot. He's thinking about number two shot. I'm surprised he just didn't send him forward. Maybe it wouldn't have fit. I mean, Vinter's a good ship, and a lot of these guys are badly damaged. And she could do work, but the trouble is she's got to stop to reload. And, I mean, at some point, he's going to get those arcs turned back around. It's going to be a Zamboni coming from the other side of the table. Let's play. Where was that focus? That's number two's focus. There you go, Devin. That's oh boy. Two. Vader two person. many dice on Vader. No, I think that was range three from number four. It is, but he's tractored, right? Oh, so he should have been right. only three. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, he's okay. Focus. Vader will live to fly off the board. Well, two. No. No, it's not no. going to make it. There's a brief period where Aaron was considering him rolling him back to be able to shoot him. Mm. Then we see if Sabine takes a damage. I don't know what happened. Looks like she did. So Sabine is now down to three hull. What if Vader Talon rolled here? Oh, yeah. It might be a bit more flexible. I think he's still... I think he's still off, but... I think he's still off. <laughs> but it would be a good choice. Like, if he had, like... A uh, quarter ship base more in one direction. He or if he was in a little more of an angle, maybe yeah, right. Totally. Because and then he could afterburners, but that's not the situation. No. The situation is utter death and helplessness. Yeah, a talon roll is absolutely off the table here. Yep, two turn probably is too. We have the one bank. Basically, the only move that she can do that doesn't make any sense. And is she going to deal with her console fire or take a focus? She takes a focus. Aaron's just going to get lucky. I think I think Sabine, the Sabine Warden, is down to one hall. I think we missed something there. Yeah. Maybe. I think they might have taken a damage on a crit. Hmm. Remember when he rolled that crit? I think he actually took a damage there he shouldn't have. So he should be on two. Okay, so we got a very aggro move from number three. I think number three took a focus. It's just hidden behind the ship. Really hoping that Vinder will stick her nose out and 
and then we have number four coming back around. Well, he's not in a bad spot, uh, vendor like nope. two bank too hard, you know. Yep. Will that end up in the arc of number three? I don't know. Uh, I think so because number three it does have a focus. I think it's hiding behind. Yep. No, I agree. The back of the, the oh, model. Oh, and in any case, vendor was in the inside arc of number three. And these guys are just. Counting the Dark Lord of the Sith as dead. They're just leaving it's him. A victory, you just leave him behind to die in his ship. Oh, Sabine has two hull. Yep. Okay. But unlike in A New Hope, Vader will not be coming back. Ah, so he's deciding what to do with number two. Probably a smart move, because now he's got the option to thread those rocks next turn if he wants to. Absolutely. And here comes Hatchet Man. Uh, he might just have dodged the barrage. Uh, I arc. think I think he's he's uh... only focusing. What? Oh, he's still got the lock from last time. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, Sabine's gonna be real dead. Bye, bye, Dark Lord of the Sith. Oh, you are dark. Oh no, that's way off. <laughs> and then you die. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, one very satisfying, vengeful proton torpedo shot coming into Sabine. Yep. Oh yeah. She's not going to survive that. So I think he's out of arc of a barrage rocket, but he probably has a side arc shot. Yep. Yeah, just roll all paint. That's how you do. And there's four dice at the range and takes one. Jeff's talking about how much time is left. 51 yeah, minutes, he's gonna, Jeff. He's 51 gonna, minutes to be He's going to play for time. <laughs> he's he's going to have to slow way down. <laughs> <laughs> so what's... Vinger is 64 points, so half of that is 33. He has one point bid, so... Uh, no, no, he could end up with just 34 points left to him. And then Aaron's also 199 points. Um, so he'd have to do everything but uh, half point one warden. Part of the issue is, like... Like... With the barrage rockets and the bow tie turrets, yeah, you just can't dodge. No matter what, yeah, you're you're gonna be taking shots. It's the barrage rockets on this list that I find extreme, like the bombs and the Sabine stuff I can live with, but then it, that it also has fabulous range three firepower. Yeah, possibly. I really don't like Sabine. I didn't like her in the last edition, and yeah. I'm still not a big fan of Sabine. It's <laughs> I enjoy the tactical play and the fact that it's sort of. You know, it's they're so hard to get these. These ships are so thick; they're just so difficult to kill before they sort of do the thing, right? Yeah. And uh, and like you know, okay, I got caught by one bomb, but oh, I got tractor beam Sabine thrown into three more bombs, and yeah. now I'm stressed and ioned, and it's like really, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, you. I mean, you either have to plan to just take that or dodge it entirely. And Jeff tried. So Aaron is deciding what to do. I think that's a good spot, even if Vinder has done a one bank to the left. Uh, one still... bank is not green on the gunboats. Oh, right. So it's got to be two then. I think Vinder will still fit, but, uh, you know, uh, Vinder will enjoy some side arc shot from number three. And what looks like a... an attack from number two. Now, Vinder cannot shoot. Uh, if she doesn't have ordinance when she slams, right? If sorry, let me say that again. If she doesn't have ordinance, she can't shoot, even if she has a target lock, right? Right, but she could reload. Like he could one straight right. reload here and just oh, let him have it. Sneaksies, right? sneaksies, sneaksies, Jeff, sneaksies. Oh, but she doesn't have the lock. That's correct. Uh, but you're right. I think uh, it's a two turn and a reload here. Or no, that's actually no, a good he spot. Stays right there. Right? Yeah, and reload. But that'll be great. Oh, Jeff. Oh, okay. So Vendor will take one shot, but she's got to reload. Aaron's just in a friendly way pointing out to Jeff that he should have just stayed where he was. <laughs> <laughs> he did reload. Yeah. I mean, he, he has to. Next turn, he can two bank. And then two turn and... So we've got two damage coming in. And there's three dice because she slammed. Yeah. And she gets nothing. So she'll take two more and be on two hull. 
And just cause we're gonna throw a proton bomb down. So that looks like number two will only do a straight or a one bank. Mm -hmm. Since he wouldn't want to hurt number two. Or maybe he doesn't care anymore. Number two actually still has a shield, but it looks like he avoided. Yep. No, that's good. That's a great, like with the bow tie and the barrage rockets, he's covering a huge, he's yep. covering that whole quarter of the map. And three straight from four. No, just a two. Just two straight. And then she's going to slam and focus, I imagine. Mm -hmm. Or no, she could two turn back and exchange fire with well, if he, two. Well, if he two turns here, he's in front of the debris, he can slam. Away. Right, he's setting up for another round. He can slam, uh, he can advance slam for a focus. I don't think that's bad because he'll need the focus to live and Vinder's extra die. Yep. Oh, he's reloading again. Right. He's really planning on getting lucky here. I think that number two has the bullseye. Wow, I can't oh. see. No bullseye. No bullseye. Here comes the barrage rocket. And maybe Jeff is that lucky. I don't know. Can we see the other dice, please? And Vinter looks lucky. So, I said Jeff wasn't that lucky. Guess he's that lucky. Guess it's time for a heroic comeback. And you said it couldn't be done. I still stand by that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, we need to circle on the map. Number three. Number three has no crits. Nobody has any crits anymore. They all got fixed. Will he do two bank slam in order to cut in faster, or is he worried about landing on a rock? He's going to do it, and it looks like he's fine. Those medium bases are really hard to yeah, visualize. Until well, you really get used to them, right? Got a big two turn from number two. Number two is the least damaged <clears throat> member of Aaron's K Wing family. Just focus. Yeah. So he's preventing a, an advanced torpedo shot on number four with this move. There we go, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, I mean, now the thing is, Vinger can't slam, so Vinger can't get her third green die. Which she's got to deal with. Yeah, but then you're not. Six red dice coming in. I think she's done. And you totally said she could do it. Whoa. Whoa. So he went for the slam, uh, which ain't going to fit. And let's reduce the amount of dice coming in. He might yep. just live. But probably not. Oh, gets an extra green die. And it's range two, so... Mm. Aaron can use his barrage rockets. He's barrage. in the bullseye. Yikers. Spending yep. a charge for a reroll. Oh. And there's a crit. Spends the focus. Well, oh. And that is the game, folks. And Aaron Dater becomes PTL Season 13 champion. champion. With uh, now a legal list. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching.